Hi everyone, it's Kevin Tharp, and uh, if you are seeing this, you are either signed up to be in my search engine optimization class for the fall of 2020, or you're a partner organization that is working with somebody who is in that. So I just want to kind of uh, lay out what's going on and get everybody started early on this so that um, you're ready to go in the fall. And I, I realize that coming off of the end of this spring semester, hitting you th with this uh, video right at the uh, end of finals week is, is a little weird, but uh, I want to start looking at how we can be as uh, productive and successful as possible in the fall. So uh, that's what this is all about, because in this SEO class, the way that we learn is by uh, learning the process of how you would go through and do an SEO audit. And an SEO audit includes things like, obviously, what's happening on the site, what's happening off the site. It also includes social media, paid search, video, etc. So um, in order for us to learn this, we require the ability to actually go out and look at a real live online presence. And, and that is where the partner organization comes into this because honestly, the only way to learn this kind of stuff is by applying what you learn to uh, an actual real world uh, situation to see what, what happens out there. And so we require on a uh, participation of a partner organization uh, and it is your responsibility to go out and find your partner organization. That's why I want you to start now because this is uh, actually one of the most challenging parts of this class is finding an organization that you can work with in order to make this happen. What you're seeing on my screen here is a uh, site that I have set up that will give you information, as much information as I have uh, about how to find a partner organization, what they're going to do, what this all looks like, uh, partner organizations that do not work. So there are certain types of organizations that are not going to work for you. Go in and look at that before you start investigating partner organizations. And um, the other thing is before you approach them, you can test to see if their website is going to work for this site because not all websites will work. Uh, some sites cannot be scanned by our tools. And so there's no way of you learning the process if we can't see behind the curtain that allows us to do that. So you can go in and, and uh, look at that information. And uh, there's other information in here. We use a lot of professionals in this class, whether it's recording videos or interacting with the students or, or whatever, because this stuff changes so quickly that uh, we have to have professionals to let us know how it's changed since since yesterday. And so we work with a lot of professionals, most of them, but not all of them from Thomson Reuters. It is a great uh, uh, organization for helping out our, uh, our program and our SEO class. So I want you to start looking now for a partner organization. Uh, we've been doing this class so 2012 since 2012. So we have done a lot of these audits and we've got it down to a pretty good understanding of, of how it works and how it doesn't work. Now we don't know if there are going to be classes in Menominee in the fall or not. We don't. We simply don't know that. I think the decision is going to be made on July 15th. But this class is prepared so that you can do it whether you're online or face-to-face. -face. And so what I want you to do is get started. Now, the challenge with not getting started early in this, since we've been doing it since 2012, most of the businesses in and around Menominee that want to participate uh, have already done so because we've done thousands of these audits, uh, maybe not thousands, but hundreds of these audits. And most of the on-campus students tend to try and look for somebody uh, that is in Menominee. What I'm suggesting is that you look at home, uh, see what kind of businesses that you interact with. Smallish businesses that have an active online presence are going to work best. Uh, so for instance, uh, perhaps you're a member of a local yoga studio or a co-op or, I mean, it can be any number of things. Um, we've had all kinds of businesses that have worked uh, for this. <coughs> and uh, hope that's not the corona. Um, was that too early? Uh, anyway, uh, start looking in your local community for the partner organizations, the information that is on this website, and I'll have a link to this website uh, so that you can get to it. 
uh, you can share that information with your partner, poten potential partner organization so they understand what they're getting into too. There isn't a heavy burden on your partner organization because all you're doing is an audit. You're not going to be changing their content. You're not going to be writing. You're going to be looking to see uh, when you learn about on-site optimization, for instance. Do they have proper title tags? That sort of thing. There's a whole lot of information in this class. Uh, and the way that it plays out is through the semester, you will learn information you'll use for the labs. You'll actually audit your partner organizations on on-site presence, and you will compile that into a series of reports that at the end of the semester um, are combined into a overall audit with uh, recommendations. And then you will present that audit to your partner organization at the end of the semester. That is your final exam. So with that said, I recommend you start earlier rather than later. I will be sending this out to everybody that's currently enrolled and I will be repeating that during the summer just to give you an update and uh, let you remind you that you need to be looking for this. I do not make the decision about whether or not a partner organization is going to work. That is part of the process of learning how to be a consultant um, or an auditor or whatever term you want to do. That's one of the soft skills that we get out of this class is that ability to reach out to clients, prospective clients, uh, and to interact with those people to bring this project to conclusion. And that becomes very valuable to you on the back end of this. So with that said, I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, I will be talking to you all uh, again and again and again. And um, I hope that uh, you have a, a good, relaxing summer, that you're all healthy and safe. And uh, I look forward to getting to know you in the fall. Bye-bye.